The length of a rectangle is 3 meters more than twice the width. The area of the rectangle is 35 square meters. Find the dimensions of the rectangle. First I'll probably draw a diagram here and I'll indicate one side as length and the other as width. And we'll also need the formula for area, which is length times width, or L times W. We're given in the problem that the length is 3 meters more than twice the width. So this means we can write length in terms of W, and that gives us L is equal to 2W plus 3. The 2 times W means twice the width, and the plus 3 is saying 3 more than that. And now that we have length written in terms of w, we can fill in the formula for area just with one variable. And so we get 35, which is the area, is equal to, and instead of L for length, I'm going to put in 2w plus 3 times w. And now we'll multiply through. So we get 35 is equal to 2w squared plus 3w. Since this is a quadratic equation, will actually get 0 on one side. So if we subtract 35 from both sides, we get 0 is equal to 2w squared plus 3w minus 35. And I'm going to use factoring to solve this problem. Although you could also use the quadratic formula. And when I factor, I'm going to use the AC method. So for the AC method, you start by multiplying the leading coefficient, or the a value, times the c value. In this case, that's 2 times negative 35, which is negative 70. And now I need to find two numbers that multiply to negative 70 and add up to 3, that middle term. And what works out in this case is 10, positive 10, and negative 7. If we double check, 10 times negative 7 is equal to negative 70 and 10 minus 7 is equal to 3. So it satisfies both conditions. And now we're just going to rewrite our quadratic, and instead of using the middle term of 3w, we're going to split that up between a positive 10w and a negative 7w. So we get 2w squared stays the same. The negative 35 stays the same. But in the middle, instead of the plus 3w, we're going to have plus 10w minus 7w. Now we can do factoring by grouping. So if we group the first two and the last two, we can take a 2w out of the first two. And we divide each term by 2w, we end up with w plus 5. From the second pair, we can take out a negative 7. And if we divide each term by negative 7, we get w plus 5. And now since they both have a w plus 5 in common, that becomes one of our factors. The other factor is the remaining terms, the GCFs that we factored out, 2w minus 7. So to solve, we set each factor equal to 0. When we set w plus 5 equal to 0, we subtract both sides by 5 and end up with w is equal to negative 5. Since w is the width of a rectangle, we throw this answer out because we can't have a negative length or width. So let's try the other one. 2w minus 7 is equal to 0, gives us 2w equals 7. Divide both sides by 2. We get w is equal to 7 divided by 2, which can also be written as 3.5, and in this case 3.5 meters. So our solution here is that the width is equal to 3.5 meters. We needed to find the dimensions in this problem, which means we also need to find length. If we go back to our previous slide here, so we can actually plug in 3.5 into that expression to find length. So using length is equal to 2w plus 3. Plugging in the 3.5, we have length is equal to 2 times 3.5 plus 3. So length is equal to 7 plus 3. So length is equal to 10 meters. And that's our dimensions, 3.5 meters by 10 meters.